Well, school board member Carl Palladino is running for re-election. The Park District board member made the announcement late this afternoon. Palladino won his district by a landslide back in 2013 and is hoping to win a second three-year term. Palladino has tried to shake up not only the school board, but countless other government or quasi-government groups for years now. The mere mention of his name makes some people shudder. For others, though, he is a savior. Tonight, a chance to try and learn a little bit more about the man himself. Where did he come from? Why does he do what he does the way he does it? I sat down with him recently for this no holds barred interview. No, you'll never make me politically correct. That might be the understatement of the year. Carl Palladino has been called a lot of things. He rubs a lot of people the wrong way, but that's the way he rolls. When we were kids, we watched Hopalong Cassidy and the Lone Ranger, and the good guys, they wore gray or white, and, and they rode gray or white horses. And the bad guys, they wore dark clothes and rode black or brown horses. You can't tell today. They need a guy like me to point out who, who the good guys and the bad guys are. His parents emigrated from Italy. They settled in Buffalo's East Lovejoy neighborhood. Young Carl arrived in 1946. I was just a neighborhood kid. We were poor. My dad was a water meter reader for the city. Paladino went to Tymon High School, St. Bonaventure University, then Syracuse Law School. He was one of the first kids from his neighborhood to go to college. A lawyer who became a successful developer. It's estimated his net worth is $150 million. With his company, Ellicott Development, having half a billion dollars in real estate. The kid from Lovejoy was on top of the world. But on March 30th, 2009, his life changed forever. His son Patrick was killed in a car crash on Grand Island. It happened when I, I suffered the, probably the worst tragedy any man could suffer. I started thinking then about the fragility of life and that we're only here for a short period of time. And I knew that I was different. I knew that I could do things other people can't do. And so he got to work. His son William took over the business day to day. Paladino led the successful bid to get rid of the Ogden and Black Rock Thruway toll booths. He ran for governor of New York in 2010. He pulled off an upset, winning the GOP primary, but then lost the general election to Andrew Cuomo. He took up the issue of education reform and got elected to the Buffalo Public School Board. He was brash and outspoken, a man on a mission who ruffled a lot of feathers. Get on the bus or don't get on the bus. You don't like me? Paladino loves a fight. He says he gets tremendous enjoyment fighting for what he truly believes in. It doesn't matter to me. It's not important to me whether you like me or not. I'm, I'm using my experience, my education, my, my background, my, 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 my family's history, okay? I'm using that to make the best judgment I can on how we go forward. His bid for governor was supported by the Tea Party. He began life as a Democrat, but in 2005 became a Republican. I switched affiliations the day after the Democratic Party gave us Byron Brown. I couldn't, I just couldn't bear it. I knew the man on the council. I knew when he was, I, I knew him as a senator. I didn't see one quality that would let me believe that the man was capable. Paladino does admit now the Buffalo mayor is doing better. Do you carry a gun? Yes, I carry a gun. Why? I've carried it since the day I, uh, since the day I got out of the Army. Paladino says he gets threats all the time. Not surprising considering his style. But in his downtown office in the Queen City with Patrick's dog Duke never far away from his side, Carl Paladino is exactly where he wants to be. You know, when I, when, when I went to take the tolls off the throughway, when I've done some of these things in the past that you know, I got Jim Pitts out of the Common Council out the back door by getting rid of his job, you know, I tried to fix things. I tried to illustrate to people that one man can make a difference. Uh, I thought I'd encourage people, more people than I've encouraged, but I'll keep trying.
Join us tomorrow night when we get Carl Paladino's thoughts on Governor Cuomo, Mayor Brown, the Pagulas, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, among others. He holds nothing back. Tomorrow, right here on 7 Eyewitness News at 11.